Welcome back YouTube. We are back. This video is a little bit different. We're actually doing a sniping challenge. Me and my son did a sniping challenge. Uh, and just one hour to see how we do. I actually did 15 minutes of 80 to 81s. As you can see right here, I'm showing you the 80 to 81s. I was looking to buy anything lower than 8,000. Um, with how sniping filters work, you always try to buy them. Uh, at the unfiltered price and then you filter it down and you can find the prices pretty easily so I was looking for 8,000 and then selling them for 9,700 um, and ended up doing okay with that so we did we did 15 minutes of 80 to 81 and then I did 15 minutes of 82 83 and 15 minutes of 84 85 and then 15 minutes of 86 87 and then we were done um, I started with 701 thousand coins uh, for this challenge to see how things went um, I'm obviously I'm still no money spent uh, won't spend money on this game won't do it uh, it's too easy last night they had the introduction or the MVP was released the MVP edition and man we killed it uh, I killed it with the 17 packs I ended up pulling an 88 Patrick Mahomes which I still have um, pulled a bunch of power, Patrick Mahomes power-ups. I used it all on the Chiefs. Um, smart, maybe. I don't know. Um, I also was sniping quite a bit last night. I, I actually got a Jimmy Garoppolo for 1,600 coins. Um, and then I made a bunch of uh, the team uh, builders, and it sold them pretty high. So it ended up being a great great overall night for us we actually only did it for about 45 minutes to an hour again we're trying to be efficient with everything so everything I'm showing you is trying to be efficient uh, here you can see I'm doing 82 83s right now um, Kyle Van Noy I think I got two Kyle Van Noy's right in a row um, for 82s I'm actually looking to buy anything for under 13k um, which they sell for 15 over 15,000 so that's good uh, pretty good profit I try to make sure that I give myself a buffer on all this stuff uh, 84s right now we're going through 84s 85s 84s I'm looking for anything under 28,000 selling for over 34 you can see right there big with Thomas Morstead 24,850 that's a good one Tom Brady 22,000 another good one and these all sold for over 34 or 33,000 I think it was just under 34,000 why I sold them at so that was good I uh, see I'm using up all my can coins there. Harrison Buckter for 18,850 coins. That's a great snipe too. You know, quick twick, quick 10K profit. Uh, that's what this is about right here. It's about getting profit here. Casey Hayward, 84 for 24K. It's pretty good. I did miss quite a few snipes too. This is actually during the day where no, no packs or anything like that was out. So this is going to be just a normal kind of snipe uh you know sometimes you can get better snipes uh when packs are released and so on we found that out last night just sniping 80 81s for under 3k it was just ridiculous um and then i put them in the sets the team builder sets like i said uh, there's an 86 devonta adams i was so unsure with what to do here because i don't really know the prices but in 86 i'm looking for anything 50 under 55k and you can see right there i got him for 53k and he actually sold higher than what my target margin was um, I don't you know some cards are worth more some cards are worth less um, but I'm looking at a baseline price here so it's really hard the 86 87s I really don't know the price you can see Lamar Jackson for 60k uh, good price especially since he's supposed to be part of the promo but I don't get him uh, and that happens that's all right that's just part of the deal uh, Nick Chubb 50k big snipe right there uh, you know, gave myself a good eight, eight to nine k uh, coin margin on that. I didn't. Uh, I ended up doing pretty well on this. My my son did pretty well too. He actually got a Harrison Smith for twenty k. Uh, that's a quick forty k right there. Uh, so that was good. We're gonna go through here exactly what I got. See a Jimmy Garoppolo goat. Uh, we ended up pulling, we ended up getting a Jordan Poyer. I think we got 25 or 26 of them, something like that. Um, I'd say it's pretty highly productive. I'm not going to say there wasn't. Um, for just one hour, that Ryan Kelly sold, I got him for, I think, 8900 
he actually sells for uh, fifteen thousand, I think it was. Um, so you just got to know the prices. I know the eighty eighty ones prices pretty well. You know, I know tight end like Hunter Henry, Darren Waller, they'll go pretty high. Um, but I don't really know the rest yet, and I'm still learning the prices a little bit. As you can see, I'm at three hundred seventeen k, so I end up spending three hundred and basically three hundred and ninety k on snipes. Uh, let's see, I'm level forty eight too, getting closer to fifty. Not like it really matters, to be honest with you. But, yeah, so you can see here, I'm still getting all my snipes. I think at 25, 26, I, I, something like that. A couple Dak Prescotts. Not bad, not bad. Emmanuel Sanders, I think I got one or two of him for under 9K, which is pretty good. 82s, I'm looking for under anything under 13K. Um, but it's selling them for 15, 750. So, pretty good pretty good margin like I said I try to keep myself with a decent margin uh, on this stuff my son spent most of his time actually sniping 80 uh, 86s and 87s and he did pretty well uh, at the end of the day he ended up actually in a one hour profiting about 93k uh, which is pretty good 93k in an hour especially when packs aren't being released the no new packs were in the market so that was good um, I ended up profiting 108k. As you can see here, I sold every single card that I had sniped. Uh, overall, good day. Um, just one hour. That's it. One hour of sniping. Both him and I profited over 200k combined. So that's good. So, anyways, if you like the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll be back tomorrow.